Well, in Florida, the iguana population is growing year by year, along with a whole set of problems associated with those reptiles. They are considered an invasive species, and they've become more than just a nuisance. The giant lizards are causing costly structural damage and even power outages. Christian Benavidez reports this midday from Lake Worth Beach, Florida. Iguanas love taking in the Florida sun, but they're not native to the state. And they've become so pervasive that when the temperatures drop, the National Weather Service in Miami issues falling iguana advisories. They're just popping up every single place where they don't belong. Trappers Harold Rondon and Dion Sandiford are busier than ever. How bad has the iguana problem gotten? I made a business out of it, so obviously it's getting out of hand. Iguanas are eating gardens, getting into pools, even finding their way inside toilets. We live essentially in swampland, so mm -hmm. what's yeah. the big deal? A lot of the people down here, a lot of the residents, they don't understand that these animals aren't from here. The iguanas have a reputation for passing salmonella to pets and burrowing near lakes and canals causing erosion. West Palm Beach shelled out $1.8 million in 2020 to fix a compromised dam. Here in Lake Worth Beach, the iguana population has gotten so out of control that the lizards are getting into electrical substations like this one, triggering multiple power outages last year. How does that happen? Either the tail or the, or the tip of their nose, it could be their tongue. Uh, you know, to complete the circuit. City Utility Director Ed Liberty says iguanas chasing the heat get past the chain link fence. They'll like to lay on the rock and then they'll migrate over towards the transformer. The city started using vegetation control to keep the iguanas out. Last year, iguanas caused 16 outages, down from 20 in 2021 and 28 in 2020. We're not going to defeat and eliminate the population. We have to learn to, uh, to live with this population of iguanas. And scientists believe climate change is helping them grow their ranks and creep north. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Lake Worth Beach, Florida. Well, in 2021, the state banned pet owners from any future possession of iguanas, but the giant lizards have almost no natural predators. One female can lay up to about 70 eggs a year.